control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from California. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ever since 1835, the rules of the House have forbidden spending money except for purposes authorized by law. Yet last year, the 11 appropriations bills reported out of the House Appropriations Committee contained over $350 billion for spending on unauthorized programs. The rule against unauthorized spending cannot be enforced because it's always waived by the resolutions that bring these appropriations to the floor. Now, the bill before us today contains $24 billion in such unauthorized spending in programs that have not been reviewed by the authorizing committees since as far back as 1980. That was Jimmy Carter's last year in office. Now, I'm sure that some of these programs are valuable and worthy of taxpayer dollars, but surely others are not. The fact that they've not been authorized in as much as 35 years ought to warn us to be at least a little more careful about continuing to fund them. Now, rather than reviewing our spending decisions and making tough choices about spending priorities, Congress simply rubber stamps these programs out of habit. It's no wonder we're so deeply in debt with so little to show for it. Now, my amendment does not defund these unauthorized programs as the House rules would require. It simply freezes spending on them at last year's levels. The cut cuts contained in this amendment total just $121 million, which is about 36 one-hundredths of 1% 1 of the total spending in this bill. Now, if year after year the authorizing committees haven't found these programs worth the time to reauthorize, well, then maybe that's just nature's way of uh, telling us they aren't worth the money we're shoveling at them either. It's the proper role of the House of Representatives to control the purse strings of our government, but we do a disservice to our constituents when we allow this kind of spending growth to occur on autopilot, absent any oversight or congressional authorization. I look forward to the day when Congress will again reassert its constitutional prerogative to control federal spending and enforce its own rules to prohibit spending blindly on unauthorized programs. However, in the meantime, adopting this amendment, merely freezing the spending in these unauthorized programs, shaving just 36 one-hundredths of 1% 1 of this appropriation by freezing that spending on unauthorized programs. I hope that will be a small, symbolic step toward reclaiming the House's responsibility to act as a watchdog over the Treasury. I reserve the balance of my time. Gentlemen.